This video is a mirror of Keith Edwards' video. He gave me permission to use this, and I'm going to add a little bit to it. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. Okay, folks, I've seen this video before without all the explanation. I just saw the raw video. You may uh, remember in my past videos, I've been asking if anybody knows anything about this guy right here, because he's at a lot of these things at Berkeley, and he's particularly ignorant and annoying, and he really needs to be made an example out of. Well, I didn't know this, but he's the guy that the other people were yelling at, hey, you should punch a Nazi. You're a white guy, so you're inherently evil. Nothing you do will ever redeem you. Because <laughs> you're white. <laughs> Oh, this is so fucking wonderful. See, this is what you get. This is what you deserve. But before I get ahead of myself, let's just watch the whole thing. I ran into three guys that were being followed by what seemed to be an Antifa member. As I got closer, I recognized him. He was here on the 15th of April, the Battle of Berkeley. I ran into him throughout the day. I hear he's one of Antifa's fiercest warriors. His cunning skills and bravery must impress all his fellow peers. So this guy who I've added an axe to grind against, this guy who I particularly dislike because of what he does and says, it turns out he was victimized by his own people, by his own ideology. <laughs> One head of the Hydra bit another head of the Hydra. Well, good. You fucking deserve it, you scum. Okay? Now, the rest of you Hydra heads, 
go ahead and bite each other, okay? You know, maybe we should just put you in an arena with some knives and let you hate each other to death. <laughs> you disgusting, far-left terrorists. <laughs> oh, but anyway, let's discuss this whole topic of if you're white, you're inherently evil, which is really nothing more than a superstitious excuse to hate people and to be racist. The belief that a person in the present is somehow magically guilty because of what other people have done in the past, by the way, not that it really matters, is superstitious, childlike, naive, ignorant, unethical, and, well, it pretty much just indicates that you yourself are a bad person and you just like to blame people for things they didn't do. And if you are, in fact, blaming people for things they didn't do, like saying all white people are racist because of things in the past, then you are an inferior individual. And it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. It just matters that you're an idiot. Similarly, let's try thinking about it this way. In Christianity and in Islam, and I think maybe Judaism, although I don't know as much about that religion as the other two, there is the belief of original sin. Because of what Adam and Eve did, as if they existed, you yourself deserve hell. Because you're guilty. Because of something you didn't do. You are guilty because of something you didn't do. People are guilty because of things they did not do. Okay? That is an asinine, superstitious, evil view of the world. Okay? If you think people are guilty because of what other people do, stop breathing, you'll make the world a better place, and do not breed. Because intelligence is at least partially genetic, and if you're that stupid, the chances are you're going to push out a kid that is stupid and ignorant like you and makes the world a worse place like you, okay? So if you believe this crap, number one, you're fucking racist. And number two, you're a moron. You believe in make-believe. You believe in magic. You believe in fairy tales. And really, you just want an excuse to hate people. That's what it comes down to. You just want an excuse to hate people. You want an excuse to be racist against certain people. And this indicates to people who are actually intelligent that you are an idiot. Now, if you don't realize this, it's because you suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect, which means that you're so stupid that you have no ability to know how stupid you are. So basically, let me break it down like this. You're kind of like a kid who goes and eats chocolate and has chocolate all over their face. And then when the parents ask him, did you eat the chocolate? You go, no, because you have no conception of how obvious it is that you are lying. You don't realize how stupid you are being. So you think you could get away with saying this crap. You think, oh, you know, this will fly over. But no, it doesn't fly over. It only flies over with other evil and stupid people, other evil racist people like yourself. Okay, so any of you people who are out there who are like, oh, all black people are bad, or all white people are bad, or all Christians are bad, or all Muslims are bad, or all whatevers are bad. You are an inferior individual who should seriously consider removing yourself from the gene pool. Now, folks, I am not a good singer, and I'm sorry to do this to you all, but the following has to be sung, and I can't actually just use Stevie Wonder's own music in my own video, because then it'll get taken down off of YouTube, so... Very superstitious! Writings on the wall! Very superstitious! Letters about to fall! Thirty-month-old baby broke the looking glass. Seven years of bad luck. Good things in the past. When you believe the things that you can't understand, then you suffer. Superstition ain't the way. <laughs> all right, that's, that's enough, enough of that silliness. That is all. Peace, for the peaceful, tough love, equality of opportunity, not of outcome, and freedom for those who respect the freedom of others.
Thanks for watching. And thank you very much, Keith Edwards, for letting me use this video. Everyone go to his channel, subscribe to his channel, watch his videos, and support him. This is amazing, amazing work. This video was amazing. You have to admit it. This video was amazing. And it's amazing that he did this. So, support Keith. Thank you very much, everyone.